Hello, everyone. My name is Michelle Angelo Rocha, and I'm a PhD candidate in educational leadership and policy studies at the University of South Florida. Today, I'm here with a very special guest, is Dr. Jamie Fiedler. Dr. Jamie Fiedler, she is the author of the chapter Listening Deeply in Dexy Research Conversations in a Narrative Inquiry, part of the book Analyzing and Interpreting Qualitative Research of the Interview that's in production right now with SAGE. Dr. Jamie Fiedler is the Academic Program Coordinator for the Mass of Education Research Program at the University of Calgary, a program in which she also instructs. She has been interested in arts-based research and narrative methodologies since her own master's journey and has published work on and within research-based, theater and arts-based, design-based and narrative methodologies. She is also the managing editor of Art Research International, a transdisciplinary journal. Jamie's research interests include emergency teaching, teacher mentorship, beginning teachers induction and attrition, and teacher professional learning and growth. Hello, Dr. Jamie, how are you doing? Hello, I'm well, thank you. Thanks for having me. Oh, welcome. So could you tell me a little bit about your, your chapter? Sure, I'd love to. Uh, so I was really excited to, to share this chapter in this particular book because I think it's so important to think about different ways to analyze data. So in my chapter, I, I really focused on um, what was unique about the way I analyzed the data in a narrative inquiry project that I did um, with teachers, mid-career teachers. So teachers who had stayed in the profession beyond their beginning years. And the methodology I used was uh, narrative inquiry, which is a methodology that makes particular, particular ontological assumptions and sees a story and experience in a particular way. And so in my chapter, I explain how, while I was analyzing my data, I really wanted to honor narrative inquiry and to make sure that the, the way I was looking at my data aligned with uh, the underpinning assumptions of narrative inquiry and um, yeah, the ontological view. So I ended up doing something that's a little bit different than, um, you know, transcribing and then uh, analyzing the transcripts. I actually analyzed most, did most of the analysis before, before transcribing in something I came to call deep listenings. And so it was sort of accidental how this happened. I, I ended up having quite long drives. And in order to make use of that time, I started listening to my research conversations that I had done with uh, three teachers and myself. Um, we met approximately once a month over the course of a year. And our conversations were about two hours each. So I wanted to remember not just the pieces of the conversation that I would find in transcripts, but I wanted to remember the whole of each conversation and to do my best not to take the stories that we are sharing out of their context. So I uh, continued deep listenings and devised a way to, to index the research conversations because one thing that's really useful about transcripts is that it's easy to go back and find the pieces that you're looking for. So in the chapter, you'll see how I created an index uh, for the conversations that I was listening to so that I could go back and do some target targeted re-listenings um, and also so that I'd have some notes about the conversations and then in some and then I did transcribe uh, pieces that I wanted to work with mm -hmm. and so in the chapter I describe uh, that whole process oh great um, and how is your chapter contributing to qualitative research so what I, what I hope that this chapter and all the chapters will contribute is, you know, there are many different ways in qualitative research to analyze data and to, to develop knowledge. And I think that sometimes we get into, we get into a bit of comparison, you know, qualitative versus quantitative or this kind of analysis versus that kind of analysis. But I think that so long as our methods of analysis align with um, the methodologies that we're working with and the ontological and epistemological and axiological assumptions that 
our research is making, as long as that is all aligned, then we're doing our best to, to do the kind of research that we're doing in that moment. And every, I think that all kinds of research has something to contribute. Of course, what they have to contribute is different. So I, I, I hope that this chapter uh, gets people thinking about that a little bit. Great. And what do, do your readers expect to learn from your chapter? So um, there are some, there are some fine, finer details about the indexing method of working with uh, research conversations or any, any audio that you have. Um, so they'll be able to follow step by step. I think at the end of the chapter, there's even some, some questions or exercises that they could do if they wanted to explore uh, this particular method of data analysis a little bit more deeply. Oh, thank you. And um, do you have an advice for emerging scholars and more advanced scholars based on your own experience with your own research? Um, I, I've had the privilege of working with uh, quite a few emerging scholars over the past few years, my role at the Workman School of Education. And I think, you know, the way I tried to support them is just um, to to stay connected to their research, you know, to, to acknowledge all the ways that their research is important to them and, and to bring that in. And sometimes you, depending on what kind of methodology you're working with, you want to bring in um, your own biases so that you can um, account for them in some way. And in some kinds of research, uh, you want to bring in who you are in your own experiences because that makes the research richer. So something I always invite emerging uh, scholars to do is really situate themselves in their research and think about, you know, why you and why are you actually ideally suited to be asking this question and, and pursuing this research? And that 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 just helps bring a, a level of integrity to the research, uh, no matter what uh, methodology that you're working with. Thank you. So I'm, I can't wait to read your, your chapter and uh, thank you so much for your time today.